Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my first ever mini makeup haul. It's actually my first ever haul, I haven't done one before. Um, so I grabbed a couple of affordable products, products I haven't actually tried before. So um, yeah, I'll just get on and show you how I got on with the little, a little mini shop this morning. I hope you've all been in the festive mood, um, getting all Christmas ready, presents, food, everything ready for Christmas Day, which is coming up in just a couple of weeks now. Um, I have to say, normally I'm quite organised with my presents and all my wrapping, um, but this year I haven't started and it's the 13th of December. So I will start this week. <laughs> um, I kind of felt this year that I didn't really want to have the stress of having to buy thousands of presents for people, not thousands, but having to buy, run around buying presents for people and, um, you know, just panicking about what people wanted and getting all the wrapping done on like Christmas Eve, like I'll normally do. Um, this year, I kind of just want to have a good time and spend time with my family and friends. Um, we've done the Christmas getaway already this year. Um, and then if you saw my last video, me and Zach put up um, a Christmas tree together for the first time. Um, I'm gonna say that was fun and eventful. So if you haven't seen it already, go and check it out and let me know what you think in the comments of that video. So today's haul is Primark. Love Primark, love the clothes, love, loves all their sh shoes, fashion, everything. Um, and everything, there are some bits that I probably wouldn't wear, but overall when I go in there, I just wanna dive in and come out with like a suitcase because some of their stuff is just so nice. I feel like I've rambled on a little bit now, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get on with it. So first up is the Primark Face Precision Large Fan Brush. This one here. I actually don't have. I have a small. I have a mini one. Doesn't really do a lot. Um, but I might actually use this just for bronzing and um, blusher. And this was two pound fifty. So I'm quite excited to use that. It is I think code one one eight. I don't know if I have any more of these. I saw it, I liked it, picked it up. Gives you a little, little example on the back there as well. So, gives you a bit of info. So yeah, excited to use that one. Probably be using that one very soon. Next up on the list is natural false eyelashes and you get glue included. So these are just normal black ones. I don't think they're as long as some packs because sometimes you pick these up and you have to like trim them or they're just like ridiculously long for your eye but these ones look all right like this today. next up highlighter dusk highlighter this was three pounds down to one pound oh one second eyelashes were one pound <laughs> um so the highlighter um dusk highlighter is three pounds down to one as i just said um i quite like this I've never used highlighter before. I have bought them out of impulse, had them in sets for gifts and stuff, um, but I've never actually used highlighter. So I might just open this one just so I can show you the quality of it. It looks really good. I'm excited to use that. Also, anybody who knows me knows that I won't buy any makeup, any like cosmetic stuff unless it's sealed. Um, like a plastic seal I feel like too many people will use won't use the tester um, dip their hands and everything and you know infections and you know you're basically putting someone else's face on yours um, so yeah I'm very wary of that I'll never buy something where it doesn't have packaging and then you open it when you get home and you find that someone's actually put their finger in it so gross so yes um, the highlighter so this one here is gorgeous. I've never actually used highlighter before, as I said. Let me just have a little tester here. Oh, that feels really soft. Oh, that's really soft. Ooh. I've never actually tested it out on my hand before either, so that's interesting. I don't know if you can see this on camera because it's quite a fair shade. It's not too bad. I mean, I don't think I'd ever go so overboard with it anyway. I mean, I've never used it before, but I'll, I'll test this one out and I'll see, I'll see how it looks on my face. So that one's a very good bargain, as far as I can see. Next up is lipstick. 
So this is a gloss lipstick, it's the Primark Pure. Uh, colour of this one is Wisdom and this was £2 down to £1. So this is the lipstick. And open that one up and just give that a little test as well. Um, I've never, like I said um, at the start of this video, I've never used the Primark products, um, their makeup products, and this is also sealed so no chance of anybody using it. Oh, let me get this one open actually. It's sealed very good, so I'm not going to complain. <laughs> a look. I feel like it's kind of I mean, I don't have any Fenty makeup, but I feel like it's kind of in that style. It's got that sort of shape to it where it could, I don't know, it's kind of like a, Pri a Primark Fenty, we'll call it that. So, so it's more of like a mini lipstick and colours, it's a bit of like a dark nude. So I really like this one. And I normally go for nudes or darker coloured lipsticks. Um, I don't do the baby pinks, the lights, I don't think they suit me very well and I just don't like that look. Um, haven't tried any shimmery lipsticks before so that might be one to add to the list but for now I'll stick with my nudes. Uh, next up is a matte foundation. My perfect colour, this is natural medium coverage, matte finish and oil free and the shade I have here is light beige and this one was only £3. Another, and again, this one here is also sealed, which is great for me. Now, I did try a tester on my hand in the shop, but just so you guys can see what kind of shade it is, the lid just sort of pops off. Oh, so normally with some, well, I say some expensive brands, some that I've come across, so mainly um, when I normally buy from MAC, um, you don't get a pump with it and you always have to buy it. This bad boy comes with a pump already so go ahead grab your foundation you don't have to spend an extra couple of pounds for a pump so let's just try this one out here and I should probably face this away from my cream jumper because that would be a mistake and I should probably twist it so that it's open as well I'm going to use a brush to blend that just so I don't get all over my hands. So you can see that the foundation on my hand here. That's what, kind of what it looks like when it's on there. I mean, I quite like that. It's not, it's not too bad. I've seen, um, well, some are sort of a bit watery. I mean, I'll test out the coverage part, but it looks all right to me as a test. So I'll have fun with that one. Next up, nails. Um, I used to get acrylic nails done quite often um, and I didn't know about these until I, compliment I saw my sister wearing them and I was like, oh my god, I love your nails. She was like, yeah, they're stick-ons. I was like, what? Because I thought they were genuinely acrylic. And she's like, yeah, they're stick-ons from Primark. So, and she told me they were one pound, so I was very happy with that. Um, so I've now gone and bought myself a couple of pairs. They were on sale. Um, norm I, I don't think they are higher than about five pounds. Um, they do have a mixture, and I think it just depends on what sort of style you're going for, which is pretty much the same with everything. So, first pack um, are the pointed. You get 24 nails with an adhesive, and this I'm going to say the color or the style is called Pluto, and these were two pounds down to one pounds on sale. So I've never actually gone. They're sort of like a chrome effect. I've never gone for nails like this before and I don't think I've had stick on nails since I was probably a teenager back when I probably couldn't afford to have acrylic nails so these ones I'll give these a go um, I have quite wide nails well I'd say my two fingers two top it two my I would say these two fingers are quite wide so and these look quite thin but I'll probably do a little charm session just to see how they look but for now, I quite like these ones and I really like the colour. And um, like I said, I don't normally go for that before, um, but I'm quite excited to try those ones. Yeah. 
Um, second pack of nails, these are the Squareletto Matte. Um, again, you get 24 nails in here, and this shade here is Sunset. These were normally one pound, and they went down to 50 pence. So it's like a nice bright orange matte colour. Um, and you probably, I don't know if I mentioned this in previous videos of mine, um, I love bright colours, I love to colour clash almost everything, whether it be, I'm going to say makeup because I do have quite a lot of palettes um, of just a whole mixture of eyeshadows, not just one sort of shade. And yeah, I love to mix up colours, love bright colours. Um, on a rainy day, I'll normally wear like bright orange, so excited to try those ones out as well. Um, I would say that these ones, I mean, I don't know if they're all the same size or it's just because of the way that they're in the packaging. Um, when I said they look a bit thin because I do have quite wide thumbs. Um, these ones, the square letter ones, do look a bit wider to the pointy ones, um, just the thumb part. So like I said, I'll do a test on this one and sort of see how they'll look. But I mean, my sister said they're really nice, so I've sort of got my review from her. Um, so I trust they'll look all right. And last but not least is the eyeshadow palette. So this one here is just called Pure and it was four pounds down to two pounds. So I did see a smaller one um, and it just, I think it was about four pounds and it had six or eight mini colors in. And then when I came across this one, tucked away in the corner on the sale shelf, um, and yes, I normally do look at sales first, um, do love a bargain. Um, this one here had actually some of the colours that I saw in the small one, so this is the one I ended up going for. It's got some nice colours there. And again, this is also sealed, so it's got a full tight casing on. Uh, it's actually got a plastic seal, two plastic seals on, so no fingers in my makeup. Once you take off the packaging here, it has one of the, I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure every, almost palettes have this on. So they have that casing over it and I normally do keep these um, if I don't lose them. So here is just another look of the colours here. So let's test out a couple that have just caught my eye. Do do. We've got like a nice orange shimmer and the only thing is they don't have a name for each one so I won't be able to tell you which colours I'm testing but I think there's only one of this palette in there anyway, so um, you should be able to sort of see. So maybe I'll try, um, I'll try the shimmer, shimmery one, maybe one of the light blue ones, uh, maybe like a purple, purple's one of my favorite colors, and another blue shimmer. Maybe one of the nude colours. So it's just a quick swipe and they actually don't come out too badly. It's very nice. I have to wipe that off now while I'll get that all over my jumper and it's new. And there's nothing worse than once you've done makeup or hair and you get either hair products in your jumper and it's quite a foam material. Funny thing, this jumper is also from Primark. Got it seven pounds in the sale, so another great bargain there. So that is my first mini makeup haul done. Um, I will be testing out some of these products in future vlogs, but for now I'm gonna end this one here and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.